सो हाई गाइज माई नेम स्नचिकेत वेलकम बैक टू अंदर वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज गॉन बी स्लाइटली वियर्ड एंड आई वॉज नॉट श्योर इफ आई शुड मेक दिस वीडियो नॉट बिकॉज आई एम गॉन टॉक अबाउट डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑन टू दीज फोर प्लेटफॉर्म्स ए डब्ल्यू एस हेरोको जी सी पी एंड एज योर हाउ एवर आई एम नॉट गॉन डिप्लॉय इट माई सेल्फ एंड शो इट टू यू आई एम नॉट गॉन शो एनी ऑफ द कोडिंग स्टेप्स वट आई एम गॉन डू इज आई एम सिंपली गॉन समराइज द स्टेप्स and the reason i'm doing that is because if you're starting with deployment of applications onto these cloud platforms there are basically broadly two types of people first is someone who has never deployed it on any platform b could be someone who has deployed it onto one platforms a heroku but not on the other platforms and and once you become comfortable with one platform you might be reluctant to learn the rest of the three platforms because you would think that it's going to be something completely new completely different and it's going to be tough to learn something new right so when i summarize the steps of deployment on all these platforms together you will see how similar the deployment steps are right and if you learn one platform you'll be able to do it with all other platforms and if you're able to understand it without me having to draw any complicated figures or anything it cannot be anything that difficult right and after this when you see any technical tutorial right if you see my own tutorial on heroku and aws or any other tutorial you will be already familiar with it and it will feel as if it's just a revision that you're doing right and you'll be familiar with all the terminology as well so that is what i'm going to do in this video so let's get started now when i'm talking about applications i'm mostly referring to python applications web based applications if you're deploying any other application as well the process is going to be more or less similar right now the first step that you need to do when deploying onto these cloud platforms is first run the application on your local server if it's working in your local environment only then proceed with the deployment don't wait to deploy it first and then rectify the errors over there right it's just going to create a whole troublesome process first step is make sure the app is working and running on your local server step number 2 which is going to be common on all these four platforms is creating a file called requirements.txt which would basically contain a list of all the libraries and all the dependencies which your application depends upon and it makes complete logical sense right because if you're deploying your application onto cloud right you're basically renting a virtual server right who are going to be hosting your application right and to host that they need to know all the libraries and dependencies that your application runs on right so that it can be installed beforehand on the cloud right so all these platforms will require you to first have a requirements or txt file which lists all your dependencies now coming to the next step step would be to create a file right which gives instructions on which particular file to run and which server are you looking for right and for example in heroku you'll have to create a file called proc file in aws you have to create a file by the name of python.config which has to be placed inside a folder called dot eb extensions in gcp also you need to have a file by the name of app.byaml right so these platforms right will have one file like this it will give instructions on which file to run say your main python file is application.py inside this maybe you have a flask object with the name of app right so you need to give instruction to the server that okay this is my main file inside this you have to look for this flask object and run it right and you will also have additional options of mentioning resources that you want for your application for example a particular uh, memory space a particular processor a particular system right but you want a linux server you want a windows server you'll have options to mention this right it can also be automated but you'll have you can mention it whenever you're deploying it to a cloud platform and these are literally the two things that you need to do now there can be some slight modifications you might have to make for example in heroku your main python application should be called as app.py for aws it should be called as application.py and for your for gcp it should be called as main.py right so these are only slight variations that you have to do but the general process is the same you have to run it on your local server you have to tell the server what all dependencies and libraries you need to use and you have to give instructions on what program to run when you're deploying it on the application and you have to mention some resources right you have to mention some configuration which you want your virtual server to have so your code will consist of your application code and these additional files now now before deploying it you have to upload it onto the platform right again there are two broad steps a you can directly upload your files onto the platform or you can upload this into a public repository it could be github or any other public repository as well and from there pull that code into your platform instead of directly pushing it on to github you can use the git software as well to push your codes onto the cloud platforms or onto your github right 
So these are literally the steps that you have to do. Now, if you go and watch my tutorial on Heroku and AWS, you will see that these are the exact steps that are followed, right? And if you see any other tutorial as well, the steps are going to remain the same. There can be slight variation. So that was it for this video. My goal with this video was that now after watching this video, you might consider the deployment process much more easier. And when you watch any other tutorial, you'll already be more familiar with it and hence more prone to actually learning it. So if you did like this video, do like it and subscribe to this channel. And if there's anything.